Hello and Happy New Year! Welcome to Online Marketing for Doctors TV and podcast show, the place to be to grow and scale your practice. I'm your host, Huyen Chuong, the author of Fully Booked and the Seven Samurai Sword Sales Guide for Medical Clinics. And I'm also a strategic marketing consultant to medical clinics, helping them to get more patients and more profits. This episode marks a special milestone of OMD TV and podcast show. We reach 100 episodes today. Yeah! I started this show back in uh, 2018 and I had this vision to make this show the go-to place for clinics to learn about the best strategies and tactics to grow their clinics faster. Fast forward to today, the OMD TV and podcast show has been voted as one of the best medical marketing podcasts for healthcare and medical professionals in 2022. So thank you very much, my dedicated listeners and followers, as we look forward to more great content in the future like this one. With this special episode, I want to cover a very interesting topic that I have been thinking about this literally every single day. How to be everywhere and dominate the market. Because I don't think competition is healthy. And as a clinic owner, you don't want to just compete, survive. You want to dominate and own your market. Think about the major players in the business world today, such as Google, Apple or Amazon or the world's best athletes like Tiger Woods, Michael Jordan, and Michael Feld, who dominated their fields of sports. Wouldn't you just love to be like them? There's a saying, champions don't compete, they dominate. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the six steps to dominate your market. And let's get started with the first step, uh, which is to specify your market. When you want to dominate the market, it's important to think in terms of sub-markets. Here's why. There's a huge market out there for practices to target, like all women or all men, but there are smaller and more specific sub-markets within any particular one. By identifying these smaller sub-markets, you can address a smaller group more effectively and immediately rather than trying to do everything at once. But by approaching it this way, you just might con conquer a few small empires before taking down the big one. Now, step number two, it creates a niche. Perhaps the most effective way to dominate a market is to create a niche market of your own. A key element of dominance is understanding how to distinguish yourself as a company into a market which there is no competition. Integrating this strategy into your marketing plan can help your practice become an industry leader. While you may be able to offer your business services to the masses, you will achieve greater success if you understand what makes certain niches attractive to your businesses. Crafting your niche requires you to check in on what your business is all about, what's your mission, vision, and purpose. By understanding your business in depth, your goals and what value you intend to offer in the market, you can create a niche that customers can identify. Start by doing your research, knowing your competition, spotting customer concerns and giving adequate solutions for the problems that your competitors cannot solve. We think of ourselves as a good example of creating and serving a niche. There are probably thousand digital marketing agency out there but online marketing for doctors is not just a general digital marketing agency but a medical marketing agency specializing in patient generation for clinics now step number three uh, create a value proposition you can dominate the market with a good product or service positioning Finding your niche and setting a competitive advantage can help you earn a better position in the market when you also have a great strategy to support it. You can establish this by focusing on either of these three strategies, differentiation, cost leadership, and focus strategies. These strategies were first set out by Michael Porter in 1985 in his book, Competitive Advantage 
creating a sustaining superior performance. If you've taken marketing strategy classes at university, you have probably heard of Michael Porter before. He's a famous American professor at Harvard University who is the founder of the modern strategy field and one of the world's most influential thinkers on management and competitiveness. Let me give you an example so I can make this point a little bit more clearly for you. Which do you prefer when you fly? A cheap, no frills airline or a more expensive operator with fantastic services level and maximum comfort? And would you ever consider a small company with just a few routes? The choice is up to you, of course. But the point you're making here is that when you come to book a flight, there are some very different options available. Why is this so? You know, the answer is that each of these airlines has chosen a different way of achieving competitive advantage in a crowded marketplace. For OMD as a digital marketing agency, we decided to follow the focus and differentiation strategies by focusing on helping medical clinics generate new patients via our seven-step patient generation system for a cost lower than hiring a general marketing specialist instead. So with uh, one statement, you can see our clear value proposition and how we are different from other agencies in the market. So now the question for you is, how to create competitive advantage for your clinic if you decide to differentiate yourself from other clinics not by the lowest cost providers which is not an ideal strategy for medical clinics would you go for the focus strategy if so what would be your niche market if you want to go after differentiation strategy what can you do to create competitive advantages and unique selling points that your competitors don't have this question leads us to our next step for dominating your market, which is step number four. Create a market dominating position. What exactly is market dominating position? It's a simple, any value added customer perceived benefit or combination of benefits, which differentiates you from your competitors. And does so in a strong enough manner that it makes your business the logical choice in the minds of your prospects and customers. As example, a dry cleaner who offers a pickup and delivery would be the only logical choice for any customer who values convenience. This simple distinction represents a market dominating position. The key is to create added value in everything you do. Prospects and customers don't buy based on price they buy based on value they perceive for the price they pay. So ask yourself, what, if anything, makes your service business different, different from your competitors as perceived by your targeted prospect and your customers? For the vast majority of businesses, the answer is price. Many years ago, Nike offered a top-selling Air Jordan 3 for $150. At exactly the same time, Target sold an excellent imitation of the Air Jordan for only around $40, but Nike outsold them 10 to 1. When you create your own market dominating position, you will consistently get businesses and individuals to choose your business over your competitors. Creating added value uh, is the marketing or customer relations strategy that can take form of a product or service that's added to your original offering for free or as a you know, part of your discounted package. Like all other elements in your marketing toolkit, it's designed to attract new customers and retaining existing ones. Everyone can add value to their business and adding value doesn't have to blow your costs or take up hours of your time. There are many ways to enhance your business quickly and effectively. The key to adding value is determining what your customers and target market perceive as valuable. You must understand they, uh, their needs, their wants, their troubles and inconveniences in order to entice them with solutions through added value products or services. Now, step number five, define your unique selling points. 
as briefly touched above, a unique selling proposition or USP is your clinic's competitive advantage compared to your competitors. It's a statement that describes how your product or service is different and hopefully better than your competition. The best USPs take a unique quality and explain how that quality will better will benefit your customers, all in a few memorable words. Many companies past and present use USP as their slogans so that they can put them in front of as many prospective customers as possible. For example, OMD's slogan is the ultimate sales machine for medical clinics. A USP is more than just a catchy headline on the website. In the end, it's all about how the rest of the world perceives your products or services, or perhaps your entire organization. Can your personal brand be the USP? Yes, for sure. A personal brand is an overall impression a person makes to others, and it can be your biggest differentiator in business. Consider Elon Musk and Tesla. Despite, in fact, that Tesla is not the only electric cars in the market, you most likely associate it with Elon Musk's character traits, like um, you know, your brain will immediately come up with uh, words like up to opportunistic, spy age, modern, and fast. This likewise holds true for any other USB built on a personal brand. If you are running a specialist clinic where you are the principal doctor or surgeon, you can align your personal brand with attributes with your clinic as Erlen does with Tesla. As your personal brand image is something unique that no other clinics can offer. Here's another particular compelling unique selling proposition example from Avis, a car rental company, for you to check out. We are number two. We try harder. This USB does a remarkable job of turning what seems like a negative quality into a benefit. For many years, Avis was the unfortunate the position of being the second largest car rental company in the market, while hers claimed the number one spot. In fact, Avis was having trouble just staying solvent. So Avis decided it was time for a total image makeover, and they came up with a new campaign that would pull the company out of its hole. The We Try Harder campaign was so successful, Avis market share went from 11% to 35% in just four years. Now, step number six here is apply 10x rule. Grant Cardone is one of my favorite authors of all time. I listen to all of his audiobooks, and one of the books I listened recently, he talked about the idea of don't compete, dominate your market, and apply the 10x method to achieve it. So what's a 10x method? Why does the 10x method think you shouldn't try to compete and you should dominate instead? In the 10x method, Grant Cardone say, competition is a limiting concept. For extraordinary success, you should, shouldn't worry about competing with others and focus instead on domination. A common tenet of capitalism is that competition is healthy, it's good. Why? That may be true from a consumer point of view because it created more choices for them. But your goal is extraordinary success and the competition will be a limiting concept for that. For 10x success, you need to dominate, not compete. When you're competing with others, you focus on what other people are doing, which makes it difficult to think outside the box. A more successful people and companies look forward rather than at what others are doing right now. They create rather than copy or improve. Instead, focus on domination is the 10x method. Here are some ways for you to dominate rather than compete. Number one, do what no one else is doing either because they can't or won't. This creates a space in the market and gives you the advantage. For example, Caron created a new sales process called Information Assisted Selling. Expand into areas where others are pulling out, adopt only practice, things only your clinic does. Second, don't play by others' rules. Norms and tradition hinder innovation. Your solution should be the only one that people, including your competitors, think of. For example, 
Xerox dominated the copier market at one point that the process of copying a document was referred as Xeroxing. Same thing with Google. People are now using Google it. Similarly, Omni's goal is to make our name synonymous with the patient generation. Number three, learn from would-be competitors, but don't emulate them. Walmart founder Sam Walton visited other top performing trains to see what they did well. Then he dominated over those organizations to such an extent that others dropped them. He turned others' speciality into his own unique advantages. Number four, outdo your competitors in every possible way. Although you may have fewer resources to promote your businesses, you can do 10 times as much as social media posting, showing up everywhere in Google, for example, Google Maps, Google Ads, organic search results, SEO, display ads, actively participating in conversations with targeted audience, community groups such on social media, forums, such as mother groups, real sales. You can use telemarketing, mailing, emailing, uh, and visit for you know referral marketing influencers and strategic partnerships. Act at levels others consider over the top or unreasonable. And thank you very much for listening today. I hope that you enjoy this show and our 100 episode. If you want to learn more about how about me and how our team can help you generate more new patients and referring doctors by using our seven step patient generation system and our dream 100 referral strategy, please reach out to us and book a 15 minutes, minutes discovery call with me. I will have show you some current problems you might have and some opportunities that you uh, like to explore to improve your practice marketing. Thank you so much and I hope to talk to you soon in our discovery call. Bye for now.